Hello, welcome back to Learn Economia. In this video, we are going to look into the important announcements that were made in the budget of 22-23. We know that the budget is not uh, something very much new to India. We have been uh, uh, we have been presenting the budget. I mean, the finance minister of the country has been presenting the budget um, uh, for many years. Uh, so this is actually a plan uh, with respect to the receipt and expenditure of the country, and um, the it look uh, it looks into the uh, uh, receipts of the previous year and plan expenditure for the next year. So that is a uh, 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 that is a summary with respect to the budget. I mean, this is the idea of budget. It, uh, in the case of India, the budget uh, mainly focuses on uh, the growth aspect of the country. It uh, focuses on the welfare of the country with respect to um, uh, uh, implementation of certain programs and policies. It also promotes, uh, uh, promotes technologically enabled development uh, so that we will be able to have energy transition and climate uh, take action and also uh, there would be some kind of encouragement uh, for the private investment um, and uh, the union budget for this year uh, aims to strengthen the infrastructure of the country by giving priorities to different uh, programs like inclusive development financing of investment productivity enhancement uh, for certain types of industries climate related action uh, PM Gedi Shakti, etc. We could see that uh, the productivity linked in this incentive in 14 sectors uh, with respect to the uh, vision of Arban Nirbhat Bharat has received an excellent response. And because it, it, this has got a potential to create 60 lakh new jobs. So we are going to see uh, the uh, important budget announcements of this year's budget uh, by looking into the different sectors under different sectors what all were the important announcements made. We know that um, uh, thus the budget of 22-23 as in the case of every other budgets uh, presented in the Indian economy every year. Uh, it has got certain key features. Uh, in general, GDP, the GDP of the country as in the case of uh, many countries, we could see that uh, there is a robust recovery and uh, in Today's um, discussion we have to uh, take into consideration this kind of recovery because uh, as in the case of every other countries, India too had to witness a very uh, problematic situation presented by COVID pandemic. So uh, as a result we could see that many of the sectors, not, almost all the sectors uh, were uh, severely affected uh, with this uh, pandemic and um, many countries could come up, uh, uh, it could recover from the problem uh, and many countries are still in the process of recovery and many countries were almost uh, recovered. And uh, even though we are facing um, this, the pandemic uh, till uh, right now, I mean, right now we are actually not um, of the pandemic, we are still facing the pandemic. But in the government has made a decision now that not to shut down. We don't know whether uh, lockdown would continue in the future or not. But um, anything can happen. Uh, there can be uh, some kind of situation for uh, the country or the entire world to face a severe lockdown um, again. Uh, so I, uh, we are not going into that right now. Just understand the uh, uh, steps taken by the Indian economy after facing the pandemic um, situation uh, last year. So uh, uh, we know that still the problem is not over yet. So uh, let's understand the um, important budget dis um, press budget uh, what to say budget announcements. Now with respect to uh, fiscal space to states, the government. Uh, has uh, enhanced the outlay. The government has uh, told that it has proposed to enhance the outlay for the scheme for financial assistance to state for uh, capital investment. And this has been proposed to increase from uh, rupees 10,000 crore uh, to 15,000 crore uh, in the revised estimates. Earlier it was 10,000 crore and the revised estimate is uh, 15,000 crore. And this is for the current year. The 15,000 crore packages for the current year. 
and uh, it is also proposed to make an allocation of rupees 1 lakh crore in the fiscal the new fiscal to assist the states in catalyzing the overall investment in the economy so this is the identification of uh, the role of investments uh, to promote economic growth and development in the country so the uh, uh, finance minister has made an announcement with respect to 50 year interest free loans uh, and overall above the normal borrowings and it's also proposed that states will be allowed a fiscal deficit of 4% of the uh, gross state uh, domestic product of which 0.5% will be tied to power sector reforms. With respect to the agriculture and allied sector, we could see that um, the finance minister has made an announcement uh, to issue rupees um, 2.3 lakh crore uh, as direct payment uh, to farmers. Um, to, pro to procure wheat and paddy and it is also uh, proposed to uh, give some kind of aid to uh, chemical free natural farming and this is something the government uh, decide to promote throughout the country and the initial focus is on the farmers land in 5 km wide corridors along river Genna. Now part the National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development is there to facilitate fund with the blended capital to finance startups for agriculture and rural enterprise. So that means that the government is not only promoting agriculture as such, uh, agriculture uh, uh, done on farmland, but it is also promoting startup with respect to the agriculture sector. Kisan drones for crop assessment, digitalization of land records and spraying of incendiaries insecticides and nutrients uh, to the crops were also uh, promoted in the new budget. Now coming into the MSME sector or the industrial sector, MSME as we all know it stands for micro, small and medium uh, scale uh, enterprises. So here also the government has made uh, several announcements. The first is something uh, with respect to Udyam and there, there is also eShram. E NCS and uh, ASSEM portals to be interlinked. So this is something the government uh, gave priority in this particular budget and it was announced that 130 lakh MSMEs would be provided additional credit under the emergency credit link guarantee scheme. So um, uh, this scheme uh, as per the new budget announcement would be extended up to March 2023. Uh, it would guarantee uh, it would give, provide a guarantee cover under the under this particular scheme and uh, this too would be expanded by rupees um, 50,000 crore to the total cover of 5 lakh crore. Rupees 2 lakh crore are additional credit for the micro, small and uh, medium enterprises would be facilitated under the credit guarantee trust for micro and small enterprises. And also it was told that uh, there would be some kind of rising and accelerating of this MSME per performance um, uh, by the government. And for this, this uh, what, to, what the government has done is that the government has gone for the rising and accelerating MSME performance program. And here too the government has uh, proposed an outlay. The outlay is uh, 6,000 crore. In the uh, case of education, we could see that um, we have already seen that the uh, education sector is something that is very much severely affected by the COVID pandemic and from offline classes we have gone for online classes and um, there have been many uh, problems initially that the country was facing uh, with respect to online classes main and this is mainly because of the uh, problematic uh, network coverage uh, at um, access uh, not non accessibility and uh, uh, what to say it was uh, no network is something that is very much difficult uh, good network is something that is very much difficult for um, rural areas and remote areas and in order to get some good network is something uh, good network for all the areas like especially in the rural remote areas and also like forest linked areas and all this is something which is very much uh, time consuming uh, to be implemented so in that respect uh, in that context what the government has done is that the government has introduced many uh, TV channels so that the students can access all these kinds of channels uh, to learn. Uh, here one class one TV channel program uh, of PM e Vidya uh, is proposed to be uh, provided to the students and uh, as a result there would be 200 TV channels, virtual labs and uh, skilling e-labs. 
uh, this is something which was proposed to be set up to promote the critical thinking skills among students high quality e content would be developed for delivery through digital teachers and this is another announcement made in the budget and in order to stimulate the learning environment the government has made uh, many announcements including the digital uh, university for the world class quality universal education with personalized learning experience uh, as proposed by the finance minister this year now coming coming to the public capital investment it could be seen that uh, this is something that would be continuing as always and uh, in order to uh, promote this private investment and demand in the 2023 um, fiscal what the government has done is that the government has proposed to go for an outlay for the capital expenditure uh, uh, by making it 35.4 percent rise um, like it uh, it is proposed to increase to rupees 7.50 lakh crore in the new fiscal from 5.54 lakh crore in the current year so okay uh, so this is something uh, considered to be 2.9 percent of the gdp and effective capital expenditure of the central government is estimated at uh, 10.68 rupees uh, 10.68 uh, lakh crore rupees in the new fiscal coming to the um, uh, uh, is, uh, what to say anchor body kind of programs you could see that the government has made announcement with respect to integrated benefit to women and children through uh, mission shakti and also um, there were many uh, anchor body and portion uh, related programs uh, the main one is the anchor body and portion of 2.0 program 2 lakh anchor bodies uh, are proposed to be upgraded to uh, section anchor bodies Next, with respect to health, we could see that uh, uh, what to say uh, two three uh, two three important uh, two three important announcements were made. Uh, the first one here is that an open platform for the national digital health ecosystem, and next uh, national tele mental health program, and all these would be helping to have quality mental health as well as physical health. Uh, for the uh, citizens of the country and also it is proposed to have a network of 23 tele mental health centers uh, of excellence uh, with uh, some nimhams being the nodal center uh, with uh, nimhams or um, related institutions forming the uh, the nodal center uh, and also the international institute for information technology providing the technological support for this now with respect to energy transition and climatic action we could see that the government has made announcement with respect to additional allocation of resources and with respect to additional allocation we could see that um, it is uh, proposed to allocate rupees 19,500 crore for the production link incentives for the manufacture of high efficiency solar modules to meet the goal of 280 gigawatt of the installed solar power and this is by 2030 uh, by 2030 the government is expected that uh, uh, it could implement all these things now uh, there were some um, five important uh, biomass pellets uh, these to be uh, five in the sense that uh, five to seven and this is to be um, co-fired in the thermal power plants so this would include the carbon dioxide saving of um, uh, 38 mmt annually extra income to farmers as well as job opportunities to the local people it also uh, uh, it, it also um, uh, helps to avoid trouble uh, burning in the agriculture fields and also for pilot projects where to be set up for the coal gasification and conversion of coal into chemicals for the industry finally we could see that the financial support to the farmers especially to the ones who belong to the scheduled castes and scheduled tribes who would like to proceed with the agro forestry next in the case of sunrise industries um, or um, the sunrise opportunities we could see that um, the government contribution uh, especially with respect to the r d uh, in the sunlight uh, sunrise opportunities were increased so these were mainly pertaining uh, to the artificial intelligence geospatial systems drones semiconductor uh, its ecosystem space ergonomy genomics um, then uh, pharmaceuticals green energy and clean mobility systems in the case of banking also there were many some critical announcements were made uh, by the finance minister like 100 percent of 
5 lakh post offices to come up with cloud banking system uh, scheduled commercial banks um, were announced to be set up uh, 5 75 digital banking units in the 75 districts so that's all by the important announcement was made in the budget of 22 23 um, uh, so with that we end today's video please like share and subscribe to this channel for more videos and you can be a part of my telegram group and telegram channel to discuss your doubts uh, you can post your doubts uh, in the comment box and also if you if i want um, if you want me you if you want me to do any of the videos uh, you can give some kind of request in the comment box i'll be taking it up and i'll be doing the video for the same uh, with that we end today's uh, video thank you